Hello friends! Welcome to part 4 of our story series. In this episode, our superhero John and his father will go to the doctor because of John's special powers. In the previous episode, Michael saw John's special powers and said he wanted to take him to the doctor. After breakfast, his father Michael and John went to the doctor. They entered the doctor's room and sat on the chair. Dr. Emmy asked John what kind of complaint he had. John said that there was a different situation lately and he could not understand it. Emmy asked what was different about it. John talked about his special abilities that he had noticed in the forest workshop. Emmy requested the necessary tests. John and Michael had the tests done. They bought the results to Emmy, but there was nothing in the results. He couldn't make any sense of what was happening. However, he said that special powers can emerge reflexively during an event. However, he said that they should come later for follow-up proposals. They left the doctor and started heading home. On the way, they both the up Emmy had written for them and arrived home. His mother Lisa was preparing dinner. John ate his meal and went to his room and drank the syrup. Emmy had prescribed and felt strange feelings. He thought it was as if something was being ripped out of him. The syrup he drank suddenly took away all his special powers. John stretched out his hand to test his special power and saw that it did not extend. At that moment he realized something was wrong. He immediately went to his father and explained the situation to him. His father also said that the syrup given by Emmy took away all his special powers. Then they immediately went to the doctor, Emmy, and explained the situation. Emmy said that the syrup acts on the point that causes the special powers with an active ingredient the therefore temporarily stops the special powers. John didn't want his special powers to go away. He explained the situation to Emmy. He told Emmy that he would use his special power to benefit people and he and his father left Emmy's side. While on the road, John told his father that he would be useful to the people with these powers. While they were on the road, they suddenly saw a fire ahead. John immediately ran to the front of the building where the fire was and saw a woman crying. He asked what was happening. The woman said that her child was left inside and was very small. John suddenly jumped into the fire. He shouted, where are you inside? He heard crying song sounds. The stranded child was upstairs. 
the stairs leading to the upper floor became unusual due to the fire. John clenched his feet and punched it towards the upper floor, breaking the concrete in between. He suddenly jumped and reached the top floor. In this way, he discovered a new special power. He saw the boy curled up next to the water in the bedroom and shaking with fear. He said, don't worry, I will save you. He tried to find an, a blanket from the room. He soaked the blanket thoroughly in the kitchen, where the fire had not spread yet, covered it over the stranded child and immediately took him out and handed him over the, to his mother. Those around who watched the incident with curious eyes were surprised at how such a small person could carry out this operation. John said to his father, let's go now. His father asked, John, what was happening inside? John said he discovered a new superpower inside. His father asked what happened. John said he went upstairs the moment he jumped. He said that over time all this superpower tired him out and he had only one question on his mind. Were there people with superpowers like him? They went home with this curiosity. When John told his father that he wanted to go on a journey and see if there were people with superpowers like him, his father initially said no, but later agreed. Because John would now have a hard time finding friends. He said sleep and rest well today and go on a journey tomorrow, my son. And his mother Lisa said that he wanted to give him the cape she had nicked special for him. John thanked his mother very much for his behavior and went to his room and fell asleep. <laughs>